All right, we're at the Taco Bell in Golito, where my Russian friend manages it. Uh, I'm trying not to smoke pot today, um, even though I get it for free for delivering for the care center. Is that me, Misha? Yeah, thank you. Oh, Victor. Oh. <laughs> Um, it's never mind what's going on. I've been here before all of them. Never makes sense. All right, we're going to sit down in COVID times. What was I saying? We are here. Oh, try not to smoke pot. So we're not. And we're with the $20. I suppose that's what that half is worth. Um, we're going to do something else bad uh, to make up for it. It's, it's, a, it's a thing they used to write in the... Fabulous Furry Freak Brothers. I don't know if that's Crumb or somebody. But um, one of the characters would always say, Speed kills. No, that's one of the things. Um, but the other thing, the, the, the character would say, A day without pot. No. Yeah, he would do a lot of that. No, like redo it. But he'd be like, A day with no money and pot is better than a day with money and no pot. And we are testing that. Um, right now, I've been fine up to now. We've been up since what? Since the neighbors woke up? So it might have been, what was it today? 6 a.m. or 8 a.m.? I mean, it was 8 a.m. before, by the time we made it to the uh, parking spot at our Regal Cleaners, right? Um, but what am I getting at? So I didn't eat all day. That's good. Didn't We drank water. Oh, no, we did our uh, McDonald's coffee. We had a McDonald's coffee. We got to do that for the experiment and uh, water oh and a breakfast burrito okay we always do that and the rest of the day we survived with nothing and uh, we did not smoke pot but we thank you but we did smoke that american spirit cigarette and should we be inside no uh they have copyrighted music oh but yeah but they have it um, inside a Taco Bell. I'll explain about all that stuff. Oh, shit. I think I just shit my pants. I got to go back in and um, use the bathroom. That's right. That's the thing I forgot to do in the 76. Yes, my family. That is the no man's life. I want to tell you everything. I'm sharing it with Jane. Jane Boomerang from Slabs. Can you imagine what we've gotten? Oh, you guys are adorable. Yes. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, man. We got a wrapper and... Uh, and an animal lover. It's beautiful. Thank you. All right. What's the what's the number now? Okay, uh, 2580. 2580. That was the cutest family. They're all coming out. So no matters. It's 25. Oh, it's easy. It's just straight down. Oh, it's pretty clean. Oh, good. I did not crap in my pants. Oh, that's happened. Yeah, that's a lift driver's life. Sitting. So that's what happened to my seat. These Ricardo seats that the Ford said, hey, can we clean those? It smells pretty bad. They didn't do it, but they said they would. So they're just going to say, well, you know, it was so dirty. You shouldn't have made it so dirty. You hear all those sounds? That's them working, like making burritos and stuff, but from behind. Anyways. Um, let's see, how do I get uncensored things? Nina, you can stop uh, here. I think this is going to be the end of anything interesting for you. So I'll talk to you in the next one, all right? All right, and I'm going to make one just for my mom. It's going to be with the Apacas. I'm going to go drive to the Apacas tomorrow and uh, record uh, me feeding them. They go crazy. They, they, they like knock there. Yeah, you, they give you like this... Uh, shovel and you shove all this kind of food. I forgot what the food was. That'll be fun to see. And then these and they're really excited and they're all like uh, they're kind of like pirates. So they all get in there. You know, they're very colorful. It'll be fun. But uh, I haven't had enough money to buy memory so I can film it. So I'll just have to do like a radio show or explain everything. It seems to be more fun because uh, even the situation, those First Amendment audits, when you actually see it, it's not as good because they see the camera and they just usually give me the hand and walk away. It's just like that or they're yelling and you can't understand what they're saying. Um, 
But when I'm talking, they don't see it ever. It's, I always just carry it in my hand like I'm just carrying my phone. And they usually say more interesting things and I can describe it better. And it's always good what I describe, so. Anyways, I'm not gonna describe this boomerang. Jane, let me, I'll tell you, it's, it's just white paper, you know, put that on for your protection and theirs and the others. And I'm still looking at this string. What's the string? It's a red string that holds my pants up. I'm losing a lot of weight. Yeah. I'm glad my sister's not listening. Um, but, uh, yeah. What matters anyway? I think it's still art. Yeah, I can, my stomach's hurting. I can't do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do it today. Maybe later. I almost did a little early and then I can't anymore. Isn't that weird? Does that happen to you, Shane? Tell me how it's going out there in slabs. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm eating it. I'm still waiting for it. No, I got it. It's their new thing. It's a naked, I love saying it to them. Give me that naked chalupa. Let's dress it up. I, I get all kinky. I'm like, I'm gonna dress it up, this naked chicken. I said it out loud, this old lady was like, what? I said, I, we should all get naked like that chicken. Do you think we all die naked? This is the first amendment audit, right? I pulled this rubber chicken out of the trunk of my car. I'm getting all furious. I, I did this artwork, Jane, from Slabs, only you will understand. I did this artwork where it was just like this chicken, right? Maybe a rooster from that um, restaurant, right? That I got shut down for inappropriate things, veganism problems. And so I got this rubber chicken that I use and it's got like arrows through it, not arrows through its head, no, just through it. And I called it um, Ponce Pilate washes his hands after nailing Jesus, no, the Lord to the cross. All right, they have the best. People, they have the best sink. They have hot water, no chain, nothing. Has that real hot water except this place. So I'm gonna enjoy this. That's right. Okay, someone asked the prices of gas. So for you on the East Coast, over here, the world, it is a world gas station. Hold on, across from the 76, we are on Cali Real now. I don't know this particular 76, even though I've been in there. It's next to the Wells Fargo, but there's that shell. It's open. Join our team. I think that's the only one in town that actually has a garage. Yeah, a garage where you can bring your car in instead of letting it be scratched by Jeremy's scheme. Yeah, Jeremy is a mogul, shell mogul. No, oh, no, point market. I'm sorry, it depends on who's suing him. All right, let's eat this thing. Sealed for you, for your protection. They're going to keep that up, right? They know now they didn't need to do that. But now you got to pay for that little sticker, right? That little purple sticker. All right, they gave us the thing. Let's open it. Let's see what this naked thing is. I'm going to take off my mask just to talk and breathe. What is hanging from my lip? Was that hanging there the whole time? Oh, my God. It's a little piece of dental floss oh i picked that up in the bathroom all right i can't luckily we don't see images you don't know exactly oh i docked them didn't i i'm sorry my friend my ukrainian friend you will have to go back to los angeles okay it's really beautiful it's really cute though for 390 whatever it was yeah it was like four bucks in the end almost five bucks it's too tiny yeah it's cute i would say it's about four inches long it's like the size of some like what their tacos should be and then it's got this um 
shell that's thicker. It, like like I'm saying, it should be that thick. It looks like a hash brown. Like it's in the, uh, yeah, this weird, a taco hash brown. Exactly that color, crunching like that. It's probably as greasy as that. Okay, all good. Now they got this special sauce I'm loving it. Let's see. Mmm. That is delicious. That is a mix of all the sauces that they make at the Taco Bell. But they did the thing that I know they should have learned to do. They added sour cream. That's why it was five bucks. I added sour cream, so that's why that's so yummy. But the rest is normal. It's their salad. Um, there's more tomatoes of those chopped tomatoes than usual. Less salad than usual. That's a good one. But yeah, you know we're going to go back to the El Cido. And just get a taco de raja, right? And that's three bucks. Give them a buck tip. And you get like this huge, like it's two tortillas. It's all done like at home. And you got all these onions and bell peppers, all fresh. They do it right there. And uh, it's just real food. And, and if you got one with, you can get it with pork, with tongue, with stomach. Yeah, pork stomach. If you don't like it, you don't have to get it. But, I mean, they have everything. And when you get a real chicken thing, I mean, this naked chicken, where is it? Oh, is it the, I'm sorry, it's the taco thing. Oh, yeah, this is going to be delicious. I remember having one of these. Okay, with that much ta- um, that much chicken. All right, I'm getting it. I'm sorry. The chicken's the thing. It's, the chicken looks like a waffle folded over. That's it. It's a Belgian waffle folded over. Oh, it is going to be good, people. Let me bite in, all right? And then I won't bother you. You go make your own. Let's taste it. Mmm. 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 Less, yeah. You're still listening. I'm your brother. I reminded my mom that she stood up in the middle. When I'm like 14, we're watching this uh, movie. We were at the Arlington, and it was... Um, Arlington's a theater in Santa Barbara. Yeah, they do the um, International Film Festival there. Yeah, everyone laughed when I said that. No, it used to be a thing. Oh, I was supposed to play, I think. No, I was supposed to strip. Yeah. I, 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 they, at the end, Bella Lugosi, after we did one nude recording and one nude concert, that just brought down my career as an educator for at least, yeah, forever because uh, of a cover. No, just what someone read. Yeah, they, they, they said, we had our, we, yeah, there was three mothers against Misha with their students, their, their kids, who wanted to learn rock and roll cello. No, they wanted their kids to learn classical cello. Yeah, so they sent them to these three classical different teachers. I don't know where you're testing it all out. But they all, these three teachers, did not like me since I've been a little kid, a little prodigy. Not that they didn't like me. They just didn't understand me that I was playing cello in that weird way that that's the way I'm always going to play. You can't take it from me. But I was trying to teach these kids about improvisation. It had nothing to do. And all I was showing them was there's a group in Finland by the name of Apolyptica. It's not weird to have four cellists rocking out into Sepultra. Can I please? It wasn't death metal what I was teaching them. It was Metallica. Nothing else matters. I was trying to tell them that Iggy Pop once told me Nothing else matters. Just do the music. If you're going to, whatever you do, if you need to sing as a mute auditor, it doesn't matter if everyone says, well, you suck. The mute auditor is not supposed to be speaking. It doesn't matter. You're doing it. You're doing something creative. Is there any First Amendment auditor in Santa Barbara who can play the cello the way you do and just start singing in Arabic in front of some Syrians just to make them scared about furry potato what this trans auditor from L.A. star, beautiful, I love you. I'm sorry you have a significant other, but that's okay. Thank you. And thanks. I'm telling you, I can't afford the mace. I, but I liked the, I want to learn 
that knife technique. Yeah, I want to learn how to do that with just a little knife that I'll just buy at a shell station, right, where I get my free knives now. Jeremy, yeah, I know you don't have them. I do this in Ventura. Oh, damn, that's a venicle. Whoops. All right, I'm going to eat the rest of this, and then we're going to go to El Cito, and I'm going to do one of these audios, like I'm going to do with the alpacas. Tomorrow I'm doing an alpaca all audio you're going to hear everything. I'm going to describe everything. You're all going to tell me, you know, we like this so much better than when you were filming with us, Super 8, when you had a really good digital camera, when you were doing the editing and adding all this music. And then even now, this commentary, whatever, and journalism, you said at one point, really? Then you're a tutorial, I don't think so. To the lift team, not at all. And now you're going to take down the shell while eating Taco Bell and telling them, yeah, they're changing, but they should bring back the Bell Beefer. All I know is that Kathy Ireland is very happy that we have one vegan thing on the meal at McDonald's now. We have invented the vegan McNuggets. That's right, kids. That's right, parents. We did it. We got the right scientists, the one that they knew the COVID was nothing. So let's 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 find some fun things. Let's get creative, people. Let's change our ills. Let's get creative. Do the opposite. Whatever. Right now, sit down and say, I'm going to be all different. I'm not going to yell at the window like that guy said in that work. I'm not going to tell everyone I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do this opposite show. I'm just going to see the show. What is the show? Oh, it's Seinfeld. I don't know this show. Who is? There's a protagonist who, there's a writer who writes about himself over and over in different ways, but especially this one protagonist, this George, should I be interested? He hates everything. His life's going so badly. Uh Uh-oh, that sounds, he sounds like he's living in COVID times. Hello. He doesn't need to be nice to the boss anymore why doesn't he try doing the opposite not going into work oh i don't have to maybe i should go into work find my boss what my boss has never been in the office i'm learning things i'm a first amendment auditor that's right be transparent everybody learn from what you've heard we will catch you if you do like me and you take my camera away from me and swallow it Nancy, Karen, or whatever. I think... Oh, God, I'm remembering. I'm, I am going to bring this more... Forget you guys. I don't care. Nina, if you're still listening after that terribly disgusting... I'll have what he's not having, right? That thing that I tried to redo. I do... I redo scenes on the slide covertly. And I hide the camera instead of showing it like everyone. And then sometimes I just turn the camera off and let the person decide if they want me to show the picture. Like, some people don't like to have their picture taken. Lassa! Lassia, sorry. You remember when the times before the social media, before the Facebook, when the the Christmas when you told me not to photograph you and you got so upset and you were only happy if I took you in a certain room and did it that way and took a certain picture that you approved of it. Who does that? Well, yeah, Trump did that. Um, Places where we tear down the pictures. Yeah, we just burn the pictures of the person who decided to do it that way. It's staged. It's not real. If you haven't gotten real in your artwork, don't fight with another artist. You fought with another artist. I had to hear about it. I thought both of these artists, you should just go back to learning how to do art for what it is. No fighting. If it's some grandma who just wants to do it at an old people's home, just shut up. If you don't want to read the chart, read it. If you don't want to play the Beatles, play it. It was that easy. You guys, you forced me into your madness over and over and over again. And I will repeat, sorry, not for the people who are nice. For the people who are mean to me and did not understand that what I have is caused by my environment and not genetically like what you have. What you have is genetic. You can label it all all you want yourself with others in self-help books, in sessions. 
all around the globe. Go see the Dalai Lama. Did you, any of you, in the Bodnar clan, did you go here at UCSB? Did you go see? Or were you still trying to get over, like, you know, the independent that I pointed out is Wiener? Yeah, he liked it. He, he called me. He called me out afterwards. I call, I saw him. I said, hey, is it true that one of the beastie boys, Yao, like you cracked up in his face because he, he came in late. Like he tried everything not to mess up meeting you, but he did and you, he didn't even say it and you read it in his face. And he looked at me, well, through the phone, through the Zoom. No, he just said to me, first, dude, he said, Please take away that idea. Don't say pricks. I didn't like that you're saying that I said that those guys were pricks and that I was going to send bad karma that way. He repeated that I don't understand your humor or maybe he would never say that. He says, you're, you're, at least you tried. He said, you tried. It was like a Suzuki thing. You, you did your act. I prefer you don't reference me, especially in that not... Not that he didn't think it was valid, he just felt they might not understand the humor. He says, I got this wacky humor, like he told Yao, like, stop trying not to make mistakes, just try to, you should have just been late. I would have come and hung out and had dinner with you, played some bass, see? But that's not what he said. What he said was to me, he was like, no, you got it wrong. No, the, the, he didn't say it to me. He said, no, I got it right. What he said to Yao, was no what he said to me no yeah he said the it wasn't him he was just like he told me i'm the 14th dalai lama that that was the 13th dalai lama that that um he had met this bass player who has passed away and we miss him very much and we miss you beastie boys all three of you together all right i'm leaving it like that we are eating one more bite of this. Yeah, I'm going to say Taco Bell. I still love you. Just bring back the Bell Beefer. Remember that Inchirito thing? On the nine level, nine level burrito. They, they can't make it. Turns out you just have to ask them. So everyone was right. I'm sorry I yelled at that one subscriber who was telling me. You know, you just have to tell them it's a secret menu. Okay, I, I will forgive that, but still, why haven't they explained why they took it off the menu and wrote on this big thing, this big sign that said, because of COVID, we will no longer have this list. And it was a long list of everything I loved. And Primus, the juice from Primus would have been upset, I believe, in COVID times. All right, I'm just, I'm trying to do this transducing. I'm trying to throw out my hate and let you guys turn it back into love and then you throw it at someone else instead of throwing it back at me, all right? Yeah, let's do the opposite show. I hate you all. I hope you never talk to me again. Me too, back and forth. I hope nothing goes well with you and nothing goes well with me. And I say anti-peace, anti... I say anarchy. Everyone, let's not work together. And most importantly, let's not wash our hands. And from now on, Let's never have a nice day. All right? Yes? Can you just say yes?